grow strength in your life. Yes, you will. He's working it out. He's working some things out. He's working it out in the lawyer's office. He's working it out at the doctor's office. He's working it out with the judge. He's working it out for the Peter Blood. Whatever your situation is. already working it out. Come on and just prophesy to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, say, things are changing. And they're changing under the glory. Tell them, say, get ready. Get ready. My Lord is getting ready to put the in your natural and you're getting ready to walk in a supernatural blessing. Yes. Yes. Say, get ready. Get ready. Hallelujah. So David, David said, you know, he said, you know, he, he felt like he can kill this giant, amen, for Israel. And, yeah. and so Saul looked, and we're going to just paraphrase and skip around, amen, but, but Saul looked at, at David and said, you know what, uh, uh, you know, he's, he's not a match for you because he's been fighting ever since he was a young child, amen, in this youth or whatever for a long time. And he is the champion of this army. That's what he was telling David. And, and I could imagine David was like, you know what, whatever. You know, sometimes we just have to have a whatever spirit. I don't care what, they just whatever. It is what it is. Come on, somebody. Glory be to God. If only you knew. Glory be to God. And so I could imagine David was like, you know what, it, if you only knew that when I was tending my my, my father's flock, glory be to God, and that lion came and, and grabbed one of the sheep, amen, and the spirit of the Lord was on him, and he grabbed him, and he killed him, and, and then he said he also came and, 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 and got one of his bears, amen, and, and he also said by the power of God was able to kill him, amen, amen, and, and, and to God he was saying this John is no different. In other words, then whatever you're going through, it ain't no different than what you've been through. He brought you out one time. He brought you out another time. Amen. You, 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 you know what? You know how that is, right? Glory be to God. When God start blessing you, then you start getting all those haters and folks want to get jealous of you. Amen. And when God start elevating you, then you thought you had some friends, but you find out that they really wasn't who they said they were. You find out you had some backstabbers. Yo, yo, you know what? Come on. Come on. When God start doing things in your life, the folks you thought was with you, they just not with you anymore. Come on. Come on. They just not with you. So 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 Saul got all jealous of David and hating on him and stuff and you know and, and he sought to kill him. Yes. From that point on. But David thought he stepped between a rock and a hard place. And I know many of us we've been there, amen. But when you find yourself in that rock and a hard place, you gotta learn how to lean on Jesus, amen. You gotta learn how to rest on the rock. And that rock is Jesus. You gotta learn how to just recline back up. And say, God, I don't know which way to go. I don't know which way to turn. Things don't look like they're gonna work out. I'm about to lose my mind. Sometimes. 